how does it feel to be back on the field? Because, you know, I, I mentioned this the other day we were doing a game, me, Paul O'Neill, and Tino Martinez, that when it's taken away from you, I mean, if you get to this point, this is not just your job. You love playing baseball. How difficult it, has it been not to play baseball? Well, it's real difficult. I mean, it's been a year and a half. Uh, last time we were on a big league field, I remember getting carried off with a fractured ankle. Um, you know, and then I had a surgery before the season last year on both of my feet. And, uh, you know, to come here, get a chance even to play in spring training games, it's been nice for me to be back out there, have my son watch me. Um, there's a lot of things that went into it, a lot of hard work, so I'm glad to be playing. Sorry, did it ever enter your mind that it could have been over? Um, no. Just because I, I'm not that type, I wasn't going to let that, you know, me being carried off the field, I wasn't going to let that be my last. Um, too much too much love for the game, um, too much passion, and um, I was going to find a way to make it back out there. Now, why the Yankees? Obviously, a lot of teams looked at you. A lot of teams were impressed with the way you looked in private workouts. Why would you take the Yankees? Uh, there's multiple reasons, um, you know, but to start with, you know, it's one of the best teams in the game. Um you know, I feel like I have a good chance to win a ring. I've been close numerous times, but, um, you know, we hadn't came through. So I think this is uh, this team has as good a chance as anybody. So that's that's the starter. Um, obviously, everybody knows that I'm a big fan of uh, Derek and, and what he did and how he played. Um, we're number two because of that. So, you know, the Yankees and Derek always had a special place in my heart. So to get a chance to play, um, you know, where my idol played has is, is definitely meant something to me. Um, so, you know, there's just the franchise itself. Um, they're about winning. It's what I've tried to do my entire career is just focus on that. And, um, that's really, you know, what they, what they preach day in and day out. And I think it's a good spot for me. I'm sure you're just taking it day by day, but have you just thought about how things will be once DD comes back? Um, I really haven't, to be honest, but, um, you know, if you do ask that question, hey, I, I look at it like this, or things things usually take care of themselves. Um, I know if I'm going out there and I'm being the player that I can be, um, you know, that I think there'll be a place for me now. Didi's a great player. He's in, the, he's in his prime. Um, he's someone that I've seen him grow since his days, really, in Arizona, so I know he's a huge part of the team. And I look at it like if I could, if I can do my thing and help us win games, and DD comes back, it just makes us, you know, that much stronger of a team. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to his return. I know that might sound crazy to a lot of people, but honestly, uh, uh, there's no ego here, and I just want to win. Tell me about rust. Has that been a factor? You, you obviously your first game you played, we had it on yes, and, and you hit the home run, and you were pretty pumped up about that. And it slowed down a little bit. Has rust played a role at all? Um. I mean, the game's hard. Even when you're on top of your game, you go through strengths where, you know, you feel like you're never going to get a hit again. But for me, like you said, I got off to a hot, hot start, and then I struggled a little bit. Um, last couple of games, I felt really good at the plate. In, um, uh, in Clearwater against the Phillies, I hit another home run. I thought I uh, had some good ABs there. So it, it, it's baseball. It's never going to be easy. So I think uh, the reps are... Just getting the reps in. Uh, this last week here in spring training is going to be important for me, but I'll be ready to go. There, there are things that sometimes confuse me, Troy, because I'm not the brightest guy in the world anyway, but when, when you played the game in Dunedin and the Blue Jay fans are booing you, you know, I sit back and go, what did they expect him, to just walk away when the Blue Jays let him go? I mean, you wanted to play baseball, so you're playing baseball with the Yankees. Did you understand the booing? I heard some cheers and some boos, um, to be honest. But uh, you know what? A lot of the boos that I that I heard, you know, seemed like they. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think they understood maybe the situation and how everything played out. So it's just maybe some fans that uh, just come to a ballpark and kind of want to boo and don't really know the whole the whole story. Um, but hey, that's part of being a professional baseball player. Uh, you, you get a good laugh at it, and then you try to you know beat the other team across from you. What, what I thought was really cool when you hit the home run against the Blue Jays at Steinbrenner Field, you didn't hide the fact that it meant something to you. I mean, that's an organization, Troy, that just gave up. I mean, they're, they're paying all this money, and they said, okay, we don't want you here anymore. And that meant something to you, and you didn't even try to hide it. I mean, was there ever any thought about hiding the excitement that you had? No, no not at all. Um, you know, you said it perfectly. 
I put a lot of work into my rehab. I feel like uh, I can still be a good player in this game, and they kind of just uh, gave up on me. Um, you know, caught me by surprise a little bit, but um, things work out. You know, uh, things work out, and I think I'm in a good place now, and, um, you know, hopefully it ends up working out for me. One of your former teammates got big money from Colorado to stay, and that's Nolan Arenado. You had a chance to play alongside him. Just what kind of player is he? Nolan's a great friend first, um, someone that, you know, when he was young, I got to work with him a lot, and uh, what, a, what a work ethic. He's turned himself into a great player, and uh, I'm happy for him. I talk to him on a, you know, weekly basis, and, uh, you know, they signed, a, signed a, a good player, a good person, and someone that uh, is going to give you everything he, he, he has. What were your thoughts on the Trout contract? Well, deserving. Um, obviously, what he's done for the game of baseball, the numbers that he puts up on a yearly basis, um, he really is, you know, hands down the best player in the game. And, um, you know, for him, it probably meant something to be in one place for his entire career. And, um, you know, Mike's role model, um, you know, I think the closest player to him, honestly, was, was Derek and, and the way they do things. Uh, they don't get caught up in anything, but you know, doing the right thing. All right, injuries kind of piling up. Troy, we just uh, heard about Tyler Wade leaving the game because of hip issues. Is there any concern in that room that some of these injuries are uh, a bit of a problem spilling into opening day? No, we're deep. I think, uh, you know, when you asked me about the DD thing, like I said, things happen. Um, sometimes things happen and you can't control. So I think one thing that Cashman uh, has done with this team is I think we're deep in, in every aspect, you know, infielders, outfielders, pitchers. Um, if guys do happen to go down, we got enough to, to hold it over. So I think if any team can take on some of the injuries that they've been uh, handed to them, it's definitely us. Talking with Troy Tulowitzki, the Yankee shortstop, and, you know, you've told the story before, Troy, that, you know, one of the reasons you wanted to come back is that your son – did not remember you playing. I believe he's five years old now. Well, he's watching you play in spring training. Has he talked to you about it? What, is, what does it mean to him to see you on the field? Oh, man, he's he's nuts when I get home. You know, he's announcing the whole lineup. And, <laughs> you know, he's Judge and Stanton and all these guys every single day. So he's having a blast, and it puts a smile on my face. That's what it's about. Um, you know, I can't wait to get the season started and just the excitement that he has for – for the game of baseball. I remember being young myself and going to games and man, you look at a, at a big leaguer and you know, those guys, uh, it's kind of surreal, but for him to be in a big league locker room at times and get a chance to, uh, meet these guys, he just, he just looks at them like they're, they're his friends. It's, it's, it's cool to see. Uh, before we let you go, um, not to get too dramatic, but have you played it over in your head, Troy, next Thursday, March 28th, you're standing there in the home white pinstripes at Yankee Stadium at shortstop. Have you thought about how you'll feel? Well, it'll be a cool moment, something I'll never forget. There's no doubt about that. But um, in my career, you know, some of those moments, whether it be all-star games or World Series games, whatever it may be, you kind of just um, sit back, you look around, and you try to, you know, take it in. So that's one thing I will do on opening day is kind of take in, you know, everything. But I'll tell you what, um, I'll be ready to, to win games on a daily basis, and I can't wait to be a part of it. Troy, thanks for coming on. We appreciate thanks, it. All right. Thanks for having me, guys.